you here. here. So, uh, friends, uh, Kritika Sharma is uh, Mrs. India 2018, and uh, she was representing Telangana, and uh, she competed with all the other states, amazing ladies from all the other states, and you know, she won uh, this medal for Telangana. So, we're really proud to have you here, uh, Kritika. So, Kritika, apart from doing this, she is very passionate about jewelry designing. She also runs uh, her business, which is in so wellness. Uh, wellness. Uh, she manages uh, you know, her clients with really take advantage of uh, uh, her programs, and, you know, which helps in diabetes and weight management. And uh, yeah, uh, that's about Kritika. And she believes uh, swimming and jogging are our mantra for uh, being healthy. So maybe a quick uh, introduction about yourself, Kritika, before we get on to rapid fire question. And we want to know how uh, you know we can. Uh, what would you do if you become one of the Can't can't hear you. Uh, can you hear me now? Yeah, now it's better. Yeah. So, uh, as you have introduced me already, that I'm the winner of Mrs. India 2018, and uh, I was among, I was representing Telangana, and uh, they were from just a small over India. So, uh, I mean, I at that time I didn't think that I stood a chance, but obviously, over, I mean, there were certain parameters on which we were judged, and thankfully, and maybe by also by my talent plus luck, uh, I stood as a winner. Uh, also, I'm a jewelry designer, and uh, uh, jewelry design. And now I am not much into jewelry designing. It was in the, in the initial uh, years of my uh, career uh, when I started with jewelry designing. Then I used to. Uh, then I was a teacher. I used to teach uh, the uh, CA students. I, uh, I mean, I used to teach law ethics and communication. And then uh, after some jobs here and there, then I joined my family business. And we are into health and wellness. And we we deal with diabetes and weight management. So that's all that's about me, and I have a 13 year old daughter. And yes. So the creativity so, which we see behind you is that yours or your daughter? Oh, this, this is all by my daughter. She's very creative. <laughs> <laughs> so very she keeps cute. doing it, so I just don't want to misplace it here and there, so I just put it on my wall. Nice. So uh, it, it's always glad to know, Kritika, you're also involved in a lot of NGO activities. You know, uh, we also met you, uh, you know, the activities with Shamina Dev for kids and moms. Uh, so I, I really admire the way you, you know, also participate in the party of NGO activities. I mean, I judge a lot of pageants and I do a lot of grooming to the young, uh, I mean, the young kids who want to get into modeling and you know, who want to go towards that side of glamour. So, yeah, they come to me, they ask me, and I always guide them. And I'm like, okay, it is, it is flashy, but also there are some, as it is, there are some negative aspects also. So, you have to be careful about it. And yes, I've mentored a lot of young kids, and I also do uh, a lot of marriage counseling. So, this is what I do when I'm not working. So most of the time, it's my work and my daughter and my family that keeps me busy. So that, that's good. That's good to know about you, uh, Kritika. So shall we quickly jump on to the rapid fire questions? Absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, so Kritika, I was um, uh, told not to see at you and uh, you know do the interview. So I'll I'll, I'll not be at you. <laughs> <laughs> question. So yeah, the first question. You know, uh, what do you uh, like you, to eat? Uh, like to, are, are you, are you uh, a veggie, uh, vegetarian, or are you, do you eat not of normal? What's your eating preference? Uh, I, I didn't get the question. I mean, your voice is breaking up. Can you come again? Okay. So, what what is your eating preference? Eating preferences. So, I eat. Uh, I'm I'm a big time foodie. So, but also I need to keep a check on my weight. So, yeah, uh, we, I binge on Sundays and weekends, like Saturdays on Sundays. Other days of the week, I am I am into moderate eating. Uh, so, uh, initially when I wanted to lose weight, that was the time when I was into, like full dieting. But now it's like I just eat in moderation. So, yeah, as it is, I, I just love non-veg chicken, chicken fan. So, I like anything made out of chicken. And, yeah, uh, fruits, veggies, that's all is my diet. So my eating difference is a bit, and I have a major sweet tooth. So avoiding that is like a big task for me. But yeah, I managed to do that. Okay. 
so I will have the secret for uh, you know becoming uh, Mrs. India. There are recipes to share it with me so that people can, the friends can take it along with them. <laughs> so yeah, when you want to get into that, I mean, your modeling or something, you need to a lot of sacrifices required. I mean, a lot of uh, workout and diet, and you need to watch what you're doing. That, so when you get towards that side, then obviously you need to be very careful. Yeah. So uh, who who is your favorite celebrity, and you know, your friends in Hollywood? Not Hollywood. Yes. Who who's your uh, sure. Celebrity, favorite celebrity. celebrity. Uh, my favorite celebrity is uh, like you're asking in a uh, just one celebrity or it's like male or female. Do I have to? Any anybody? Uh, yeah, you can name them both. So, uh, my favorite celebrity as such is uh, uh, Saurabh Ganguly. I'm a mm -hmm. huge fan of him, and uh, I mean ever since 1996, I used to watch him play, and then he was the captain, and I've been a huge, huge fan of him. And also, I look up to Sushmita Sen. I mean, I really like the way she's come up in life. Uh, I mean, I never miss a chance to watch her videos. And the way she talks is so motivating. And she she is like uh, she's a woman of substance. So I really look up to her. Okay. So, uh, so uh, when you look at uh, the mirror, you know, do you really talk to yourself, or you know, what, you know, what do you do? What do you do? I talk to myself all the time, in the mirror, without the mirror. I'm always talking to myself. Okay. What is so that one morning? Yes. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you can ask the question. I was about to answer the question even before you were asking. Yeah, right. Go ahead. Go ahead with the answer. You were saying yeah, something. So, about something. Yeah. I mean, whenever I look into the mirror, and uh, I'm like, uh, nothing is impossible for you, Pratika. So, and especially there are times when you know things get challenging. So I look at look up to me. I'm like, you've come this far. You're gonna go mm -hmm. more far. So uh, I'm very confident about myself, and I keep packing my bag when whenever I do something good, and whenever I achieve something which I feel was not achievable or was difficult to achieve. So yeah, I keep motivating myself. I keep giving myself pep talks, uh, which I think everyone, of, all of us, should be doing. That's right? true. That's true. So, what is that one thing which has changed, uh, you know, your life? Changed uh, the way you look, or you know, want to, part, you know, your passion to get into some of these uh, activities, or competitions. So, one thing actually, a lot of, I mean, after I won my crown, a lot of things changed. A lot of things changed from my perspective as well as from the perspective from which people used to look at me. All of a sudden, I became this little celebrity. Everyone wanted me to be on their platform and, you know, be a judge or guest or whatever that was. But that was there. And it generally happens. But things, then I started getting involved in more in social work. And I realized that, yeah, much of it is needed there also. So, yes, I'm a part of an organization called Kutagnya. And uh, we do uh, as much as we can, a little bit. But, yes, that little bit is also, I think, required by all of us. So... That's nice. That's so, the beginning of the so, was a changing point in my life. Nice. So, what is your life mantra? My? What is your life mantra? Your life mantra? My life mantra is uh, uh, just to be, to, just to take life as it comes, and mm -hmm. if it is not the way you want, just try to make it the way you want. I mean, there's nothing that can put you down. It's you. All about you. If if you can, if you can deal with the situation. I think if mm -hmm. you have the courage, then nothing can put you down. So my mantra is to stay strong, come what may. What do you do what when do you things don't uh, go the way you plan? Happen the way I plan. Obviously, uh, there is a little disappointment, but uh, not for very long. Maybe like half an hour, 30 minutes, and then I shift to the plan B. I'm like, if this, this, this didn't happen this way, there has to be some other way. And I found another, I, I always find another route to do things. And uh, then I also believe that if something is not, if I put my 100% into something and it is not happening, then I really think that it is not meant to happen. And then I just leave it. Okay. Well, what is the naughtiest thing you done during your childhood? In your school days? Your school days. I was not a very naughty child. So... <laughs> I don't really remember doing anything naughty. I mean, I was a very quiet, introvert child. So 
I don't know. Not, not as a child, I never did anything naughty. I mean, I don't remember anything that caused like uh, me to be there in my memory. So nothing like that. Okay. What about college? Uh, college was at this moment. I'm not able to recall, but yes, so uh, I've done a lot of things. So much thing here, Olga. If your parents are not aware, so are are your parents sitting beside you? Not at all. Nobody is beside me. <laughs> yeah, the naughtiest thing I did in college was uh, me and my group of friends. So we were like forced to stay in college for some kind of a function, and we had plans to go out. So me, uh, my group of friends, and me, we jumped the college wall, and we went out. And in the process of jumping, my kurta got stuck and it got torn. And but still, it was fun. And I remember jumping over the college wall. It was real fun. Yeah, <laughs> that is the naughtiest thing I did. Yes, as a grown up. Who are the three friends you are missing badly during this lockdown? My three friends, uh, Pika for sure. I mean, uh, she she is like I mean, every weekend I'm hanging out with her. We are going out for coffees and yeah. So she's also the founder of the organization with which I am uh, associated. That is Kutarnia. And uh, another friend of mine is uh, this is another friend of mine called Nishil. And I'm missing going out with him also because I used to meet him very often and he's like. a very old friend of mine so yes i uh, i mean these are my two closest friends others are like others are friends but the closest ones are these two yes. okay. so i'm really missing this too. what is that one what stop that which you are missing at home which otherwise was available was that you need to lock down you're missing that at home in the kitchen in the kitchen um actually there's nothing i mean uh, thankfully we are so blessed that we're getting everything that we want But yeah, I'm trying to find cocoa powder since a lot of days. I'm not able to find it. I'm trying to, I'm trying to make a chocolate cake, and it's not happening because of non-availability of cocoa powder. So if someone has it, please let me know. <laughs> But, yeah, I'm trying to. But apart from that, all the necessities are available, and uh, thankfully, we are like blessed. Yeah, okay. So if you have a chance, I mean, if you have only few days to live, and you had to do something for your parents, what would that be? uh actually it's always my parents who have done everything for me so this is like one chance uh which is like i would just like uh, i would take uh, my parents on a world tour for sure uh, because you know my dad has been working all his life and my mom you know how it is when i mean when you come from a upper middle class family and you have to go to sacrifices going especially by the mother of the family so yes i would definitely want to take and especially my parents or always wanted to go to singapore So I'm going to take them to Singapore and uh, other parts of the world, and uh, they like travel. I love travel, so yes, I'm going to take them traveling. Other other things, I think I don't. I mean, they are good, and everything is fine. Traveling is something which I would want to go with them, and I want to show them the world that how beautiful it is. You have done a lot of ramp walk. So who is that one celebrity you would like to walk with? Uh, Bollywood celebrity. Yes, uh, Sushmita Sen, uh, the content, okay. the poise, uh, and in the way she walks, and uh, she is like not scared and very confident, and I just love the way she carries herself. So I, I, I love to walk with her for sure. Male actor? A uh, male actor, uh, Ranveer Kapoor. I really <laughs> like him. So definitely, we would bring him. Yeah. you were talking about the negative aspects of you know becoming a celebrity after you become famous so what are those one or two things which are like sort of negative which you have to face once you become famous yeah so uh, i mean there are a few things like once you become a celebrity a lot of people all of a sudden become inquisitive about your personal life like uh, where is she coming from is she married not married for single parent or not I and mean, too many questions you know and people are so curious to know so these are the things and also uh, <laughs> initially when i went the crowd it was little like whenever you go out people kind of recognize you so so at times when you want to be left alone you kind of get uh, that you meet some, i mean it's not that everybody recognizes but yeah some people somewhere i used to find a lot of people who i knew so yeah that was but the negative aspect is a lot of people get inquisitive about your personal life So that is something I think yeah, it happens with everybody. Yeah. So is your so is so proud of uh, your achievement? What school? Me? What do you say? How does she introduces her mother? 
she is absolutely proud of me and uh, she was there when i won the crown she was there in the crowd and uh, two people who were very happy was like was my dad and my daughter so my i mean among all the people i could see my dad standing and cheering and uh, my daughter was there and then she came back stage and she she was like i knew mama you would win and i'm so proud of you and then uh, school me also i mean she never boasted i mean she never told anybody uh, in her school but somehow they came to know and then i was also invited as a guest uh, at her school so yeah but then she always tells me you know uh, <laughs> so whenever i like initially when i won the crown she was like mrs india mrs india is all out ghar ke bahar theek hai ghar ke andar you are my mom and you have to do things for me <laughs> <laughs> so she is setting the expectation you know ye ye ghar pe nahi chalega actually ye celebrity status ghar pe nahi chalega keep it my par that's what i think that's cool with me that's yeah. nice so uh, I think I mean, it's, it's really awesome to have uh, you know family like that. Your uh, parents continue uh, supporting all the girl child in change they like they're doing uh, with you. I, I'm sure they'll never have any time. So I I am glad you're back uh, with such an awesome team. So uh, final question. One minute, CM. So you get a chance. You're the CM. So what are the things you look for? so uh, this i mean there are too many things that need to be covered but i i'm very mm-hmm. sure that a lot of people must be talking about poverty and everything but one thing that i really want to do is um, you know something for our soldiers who are on the border I and mean, who are fighting for our country i mean a little example is this, like when a celebrity uh, pass away in our country the whole country is mourning but at the same time there are many soldiers who are fighting on the border for us for our safety and they go unrecognized and if and once they are born their family suffer for the rest of their lives so i would definitely want to do something for their families because the kind of sacrifice they are doing is irreplaceable and i think not many of us would want to go on the border and do that so i would definitely want to do something for the people our soldiers who are fighting there for us for our safety definitely for them yes this is really what i really want to do and i want to put forward i think if someone is hearing please someone who is in the power to do this Definitely, I would really want to see something happening for them. You know, it's really important. Lovely. So, uh, Kritika, before before we go uh, close the session, any message for uh, the audience, friends who joined the Twitter thing or would watch the video later? Yes, yeah, sure. So, uh, everyone who's here, uh, I mean, stay home, stay safe. It's very important for all of you to stay home. Uh, this is not a situation where we can go out. I'm sure all of us are missing going out, missing our Friends, missing our families, missing our travels, but I think all of this can be put on hold because, uh, as it is, as they say, "Jahan hai to jahan hai." If we are living, then only we can choose what we want to do. So just stay home, stay safe, and uh, uh, and be happy, stay happy, and uh, nothing can put you down in life. Trust me. If you know you can achieve something, you will definitely achieve something. So all the best to everyone watching, and thank you for watching. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Kritika, uh, for joining this. Uh, and uh, friends who joined in, uh, do follow Kritika, and uh, you know there are a lot of activities uh, she does. So the best we can do, you know, either we can start an interview or support people who are already, uh, you know, working on a mission you know, because they have a team who are working on driving this on the ground. So do follow her. Uh, I request all of you to be quiet. Uh, people who are trying to achieve something, and uh, yeah, if they need any help, uh, let's do our best. So, thanks a lot, Kritika, and uh, all the best for what you are doing. And thanks for taking time out for one minute. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all.